All right, I want to show you maybe the easiest way available to make a map, and it is using Microsoft Excel. I know this is supposed to be an open source channel, and Excel is not open source, but it's something that probably most of you use regularly, and so we're still going to cover it because it could be powerful for your use case. So let me just show you how simple this is to make a map in Microsoft Excel. I have a blank workbook open here right now, um, you can see it's book two. It's just blank. I'm going to make a column here called country, a column here, column here called value. And we're just going to start listing um, off some countries. We'll start with China. Let's do Russia, Vietnam, Japan, um, United States, Mexico, uh, Brazil. Canada, Chile, Bolivia, um, Colombia, um, Venezuela, France, United Kingdom, um, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, uh, Spain, Turkey, um, Iran, uh, let's get some in Africa, uh, Tanzania, or is that Tun Tunisia, Tanzania is in Australia. Um, uh, Kenya, um, Madagascar, Somalia, hopefully I spelled that right. Okay, so we have all these values, we have all these countries in there. Now let's just start putting some values. I'm just going to do equals random number between, oops, I didn't finish it equals rand between um, one and a thousand. And we'll just drop that down there. And now I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste, where's my values? Oh, they couldn't copy it. What you need to do is we need to do um, paste here, values there, and now we can uh, delete all this, copy this, paste it there, values, and delete all that. Okay, so now we have country, name, and values. And now all we have to do is click in our data here somewhere go to insert, come down here to maps, and choose our map option. And what's gonna happen is we get a map just like that. Um, you can see how quickly this happens. So what's happening behind the scenes here is Microsoft is sending the data to Bing where it has things like country outlines, state outlines stored, uh, and you can easily make a map. Um, random, we can get a title, random values for countries. Super, super easy to do. <clears throat> so you can see that it'd be really easy to come in here with actual values for countries and make a very, uh, simple, very easy map in Excel. We can come in here. Um, you can change title, label, labels, legends. We can change the layout. So we can put this at the top. We can make a legend on the side with values over the um, over the countries. Um, we'll have the legend at the top. We can put it on the left side instead. Um, you can see the styles up here. If we drop down these chart styles, we have a dark style. Um, gray, white style one, white style two. So we have different options there and we can come in and change our chart colors. 
So basically we're stuck with monochromatic here. So we can do blues, we can do oranges, grays, um, yellows, you know, basically whatever. Um, whatever options you want to select out of there. And so though, that's the basics of how you can make a map super, super easily in Excel. Um, let's just get just a little more complicated here. I'm going to um, open up an internet tab and let's search for world population by country as a CSV. And when you find the World Bank, you want to click on this population total data from the World Bank. So let's go there. Oh, and while this is loading up, I'll tell you, if you are part of the membership at Geospatial School, you will get the data I'm using here. Um, I'll upload it there so you can get this video without ads uh, and you can get the data for free. Um, you can just get it there. So I clicked on CSV here. I'm gonna see if I can download it as an Excel without being a zip file. That's an XLS. We'll do this, we're gonna download this as an XLS file right here. Um, and I'm gonna open it. And because it's an XLS, it's probably not gonna work with the map, but we're gonna copy the data into this one over here. All right, so here we have metadata and here we actually have the data. So let's get rid of these top three rows. We're just going to, oh, I have to enable editing. And now we'll get rid of these top three rows. So let's just delete those. Let's grab the country name. I'm going to copy that with control C. I'm going to go over to my book two in Excel. I'm going to add a new sheet and I'm going to paste that right there. And now I'm going to go back to my population data. And you can see we have population data for various years. I'm gonna grab 2022. I'm gonna copy it, go back over to book two, and I'm gonna paste it right there. And it gives me a little warning. Okay, um, we can right click on this and we'll do format cells. It says it's formatted as text. We'll just format it as a number and we'll say, okay. And there it's formatted as a number. Now we can click in here and we can go to insert and maps and just a basic field map. And hopefully this is gonna work. It's telling me that it doesn't like my country names, but it's gonna work after all. And so here you can see that we now have a world map um, with actual data that is world population. We have some information here we can click on. 77% of locations for your country name. We plotted 77% of the locations for your country name data with high confidence. So that's saying that 23% of these country names being couldn't find out what the, uh, what the proper country was. Not sure why, but it couldn't. So we can come in here and change this to world population by, or sorry, population by country, country population 2022. And we could once again come in and change our colors to a different scheme if we want to do that. Okay, and so there's our map. So there you can see just how easy it is to create a map in Excel. You can see we have a little, it's kind of weird looking how it looks like there's a, just not quite sharp the coloring there. I'm not sure if that's because of the way it's displayed with China being so large, if we need to make this in a log scale or, or what. But whatever the case, uh, you can see how incredibly simple it is to make that map. So once again, if you sign up for Geospatial School, and I'll include the link in the description, 
I will give you the data that we've used here so that you can make this same map as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have realized just how easy it can be to make a map in Excel and stick around for more content. We'll have more content in Excel, like how to make heat maps. Um, maybe I'll do a challenge, challenge just if I can make a map with real data in under a minute or something like that. If you want to see that, leave a comment below and we'll try to get to it. Thanks for watching.